A little earlier we were tracking an accident on 328 near Sunset and Palmetto Boulevard, but that has since been cleared up. Still, though, we're going to have some wet roads out there as you start your commute this evening and a little closer to downtown Columbia. Of course, Malfunction Junction, a lot of backups there. So 26, 20 likely to be busy this evening, and it doesn't help that we have the rain around. So please drive carefully, plan a little bit of extra time to get to where you need to be out there this evening. You can see our DOT camera looking Looking over the flyover at Malfunction Junction where traffic is already slowed down and it's going to stay this way through the rest of your evening commute. We still have a severe thunderstorm warning in place until 530 this afternoon over the next 13 minutes. This particular thunderstorm going to continue to move eastward at about 40 miles per hour. So as it does, eventually we'll see the community of Springfield get some heavy rain as well as some gusty winds by 523 into Nieces by 533 Staley Crossroads by 540. And this particular thunderstorm will get towards St. Matthews by 556 and eventually Heavy rain, gusty winds going to make their way into Cameron by about 6.05. A little farther to the north, a couple of showers out there in between Lugoff, Elgin, and Rembert. This is right along 20. These are going to continue to move towards Darlington and Florence as we work through the next half hour. And for the rest of us out there, we're dry, but that doesn't mean that stays the case as we work through the next couple of hours. We've got some thunderstorms that are now starting to pivot into parts of Newberry County. Winsboro, you've got some heavy rain, and I'm sure you can hear the the thunder that's on your doorstep as well as these storms continue to move through your community over the next 15 to 20 minutes. As a reminder, a severe thunderstorm watches in place until 8 p.m. this evening. This includes every single county on your screen that you see in purple. And as we get the rest of this activity to move eastward, we'll start to see the National Weather Service chipping away at the watch box. But for now, all of us still under this until 8 p.m. So of course, if you have any plans this evening, please be careful. Use our first alert weather app. You can check our interactive radar out and from there, keep an eye out on any thunderstorms that happen to be moving across the area. So through the rest of the night tonight, there will be a leftover shower or thunderstorm around sunset, but that's about it. Once we get closer to 9 and 10 o'clock this evening, the rest of the moisture moves eastward, partly cloudy skies for the rest of the night as we clear out and temperatures that are going to fall to around the 60 degree mark by your Thursday morning. So here's first alert feature cast out there for us this afternoon. Few thunderstorms doing a great job of picking up those to the south. Notice how we get a little later into the evening. This activity up near the state line. It continues to drop farther to the south into the east. So we get a couple of these thunderstorms to march through the Midlands. This is by seven and eight o'clock this evening. We still have a little bit of activity left over out there across the region. We get past sunset and a lot of the energy available for these storms is gone. It's because, of course, the sun has set, so there's no more energy or fuel for these storms to tap into, so they'll quickly fizzle out. By 11 o'clock, we're dry out there. This moisture at that point has moved offshore. Winds out of the north and northwest, which means our frontal boundary is passed through. That'll usher in some slightly cooler air for the start of Thursday morning, and that is why we're down to around 60 degrees as we get your Thursday started and just as quickly as we cool off, we're warming up for your Thursday afternoon. High temperatures into the mid 80s and then we turn unsettled once again as we head into the weekend. A few showers out there Friday afternoon and then showers and thunderstorms make a return both Saturday and Sunday. Saturday looks to be the wetter of the two days for now. Something we'll be keeping an eye out for in the first alert weather center and then looking ahead to next week. We'll start to heat up once again mid 80s Monday, Tuesday by Wednesday, Thursday and even Friday of next week. Greg, high temperatures close to 90 degrees.